Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Knowledge24. In today's lecture, we will see the concept of inline function. So, our objective in today's lecture is what is inline function, why we use inline function, then how to declare the inline function and where the inline function will not work. So, we know that functions are created for many benefits like organization of the program, then better memory utilization, easy to debug, modify and maintain. But we also know that when the function is cold, then it takes extra time or overhead time like in jumping to the function definition, then returning statement, then pushing arguments and saving registers. So when the size of the program, size of the function definition is large, then the execution time and overhead time is balanced. But when the size of the function is small, at that time the function execution time and the overhead time will be different. Here overhead time will be greater than the execution time. To resolve this problem in C language we use the macros but macros has a disadvantage like it has no error checking. So in C++ we have another solution that is inline function whose purpose is to decrease the overhead time. So what is inline function? Inline function is a function which is expanded in line when the function is invoked. It means the compiler replace the function call with the corresponding function body. So there is no need of jumping the statement or its uh, context switching and then returning the statement and saving the registers. So this is the benefit that why we use inline functions. And it is called inline because, because it is expanded in the same line when it is invoked. So this is called inline function. Now how to declare the inline function? So C++ treats all the member functions when they are defined inside the class is by default inline function. But when these functions are defined outside the class, then it's a known inline function. So to make them inline, we use the prefix keyword inline in the function definition. So the syntax for function inline function is inline, then data type, then function name, and then its argument. So this is the declaration of function inline function now inline function has some disadvantage also that inline function is a request not a command or order so compiler may ignore this request if the function size is very greater means lengthy program or very complicated so there are some situations or condition where we will not use the inline keyword. Like the first one is where the program size is large or complicated. Then second is where we will use for loop or any other loop or switch statement or go to statement. Then the third one is where we use the static variables and then fourth is in the function we use suppose recursive functions then in these four conditions we will not apply the inline function so these are the basic concept of inline function to understand this con concept we also use a simple program of a square of a number so let's see in this program the function definition is written outside the class so we have to write the keyword inline before the function definition. As usual questions related to inline functions are also attached at the last of this video. Thank you.